speaking of granola, <laughs> is what I'm doing right now. The Food and Drug Administration just told a Massachusetts bakery that they cannot list love as an ingredient in their granola. <laughs> yes, they have to call it by its scientific name, rat poop. <laughs> Allegedly. The company defended listing love on their packaging, explaining the ingredient was a nod to the passion bakers put into their product. Ah, yes. The passions run high in the granola factory. I mean, <laughs> who among us hasn't stolen a kiss or two behind the industrial oat thresher? But the FDA wow. disagrees, saying a human emotion cannot be an ingredient in baked goods. <laughs> yes. They're technically right. They're technically right. The emotions of the factory workers don't actually go inside the products. If they did, our iPhones would never stop screaming. Oh. I'll be honest. I love them. I love them. I'll be honest. I don't want to know what's in granola, period. That's the deal we have with granola. If we all keep pretending it's healthy, we get to eat chocolate chips for breakfast. <laughs> the only ingredient that should be listed on a salted caramel dark chocolate honey walnut granola bar should be denial. <laughs> but here's the thing. Mm, I could go for some... I could go for some denial right yeah. about now. But here's the thing, if this granola really does contain love, then the FDA has got to warn people, because nothing has done more damage to me than love. <laughs> not fat, not salt, alcohols come close. <laughs> but alcohol is usually stepping in when his old pal love can't be there tonight. <laughs> so I say let customers know exactly what emotions they're biting into, like Totino's Pizza Rolls does, now with 60% more self-hatred. <laughs> That's after you eat it. Now, some, mm, I could go for some self hatred right now. I could go for a hot tray of self hatred. Uh, there's some disappointing news from the art world. Paris's Louvre Museum, <laughs> trust I'm pronouncing that correctly, is withdrawing a large installation for being too sexually explicit. Now, let me set this up it's a building. And this building is intended to look like a couple copulating. I am skeptical, frankly. How can a building really look like a... Okay, I see it. <laughs> there Whoa. it is. Whoa. There. Whoa. There it is. No, it could be... Get it could just be a guy it, keeping his dog from attacking the neighbor, okay? <laughs> Stay here, boy. Stay. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Stay back. Down, boy. Down, 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 down. Get on it. Down, 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 down. down. The museum decided to pull the installation after online criticism, and in addition, there were concerns about the 40-foot statue being situated near a children's playground. <laughs> I mean, I think you understand that. Imagine having to explain to a child, well, sweetie, when a woodshed loves a mini-storage unit very much, <laughs> sometimes they engage in a special hug, resulting in a two-bedroom condominium. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> back here stateside, people say there are no more heroes. But I'm happy to say that those people are wrong. Because yesterday, police in Wyoming arrested a drunk man who claims he traveled from the year 2049 to warn of an alien invasion. Now, I know this sounds implausible, but think about it. If you went back even five years to the past, you'd sound like a crazy person. <laughs> uh, the Apprentice guy is president. Taco Bell has a taco where the shell is a fried egg, and iPhones don't have headphone jacks anymore. <laughs> and he wasn't happy about being detained. He immediately demanded to speak to the president of the town. I need to speak to the president of the town, the mayor of the country, and the emperor of ice cream. <laughs> now, it turns out that time travel is trickier than you might think, because the man claims he meant to travel to 2018. Look, buddy, we're all just trying to get to 2018. <laughs> That's what just I'm take saying. it one day at a time. Everybody trying to get there, one, you know what I'm saying? One we're just trying to make it.